Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna talk about the difference between a drain and a well in Plexus. So if you're new to this YouTube channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe in order to stay tuned on every video I'll upload. So let's start. I've been asked a lot of questions in the comments on my videos about the difference between a drain and a well. So if you have any question concerning Plexus or anything, just leave them in the comment section and I will make a video on your topic. So if you go to the reference manual of Plexus, I've made earlier on a tutorial about where to find the manual and how to download it and how to use it. You can find that the well, uh, the definition of a well is that the properties of the well can be modified in the selection explorer they can be uh, they can be set here as a discharge wells are used to prescribe line inside the geometry module where a specified discharge is extracted from or infiltrated into the soil so we choose or to discharge or to infiltrate the soil. This is the behavior of the well. There's two options. There's the extraction and there's the insertion of the water. So uh, let's start with the well. I'll start later on with the well. Let's continue to see the drains. The difference between the drains as the drains are used to prescribe line inside the geometry model where excess pore pressure are reduced. So the main difference between the drain and the well is that the drain will reduce the pore pressure. Where the drain, where the well removes the water or insert a water into the soil. This is the main difference. So together with the creation of the drain, the input or properties of the drain is acquired. The option is only relevant for consolidation. Okay. In such calculation, the pore pressure in all nodes of the drain is reduced such that is equivalent to the given head. We will give a head in the drain. For example, each reference equals 10. It will reduce all the water pressure in this point or this line to 10. There's two options for the drain. There's vacuum drain and uh, there's uh, the first one is normal drain. The pore pressure is reduced to the given head. And there's the vacuum where the head parameter can be used to define the under pressure in the ground equivalent to the process of vacuum consolidation. So these are also the two options in the drains and the well. Let's now see them here in Plexus. So as you can see. We've defined the drain as a line. We can see it here. This is the well, create a well, and this is the drain. So let's see the options of the drain. You can see that the behavior is normal or vacuum. Here we can lower, we will lower the pressure to 10. Let's see here, we've created the mesh, we've created the flow condition, which is global. And let's see the results. Here we can see the mesh created. Go to stress. We can see how it's reduced to 10 because we've put the reference of the head of the drain here to 10. So we can see how it reduced the water from here to here. The water was. Uh, the global water here was put at 
18 we can see how it was reduced from 18 to 10 here we can see the groundwater heads where we can see that it starts from here and here you can see also the active pore pressure this is the active pore pressure where you can see that how it will fall down to the drain this is here minus 200 you can see how it go it, it will go to zero here and the shape of the drain so let's see this exercise i leave a link of this pdf in the description box this is how we draw the drain the material the soil is linear elastic drained uh, this coefficient will be equal to one where because uh, why because we will use a uh, flow only parameter where these parameters will not uh, matter here we can see the output this is the active pore pressure this is the degree of saturation in the soil you can see how it would fall down from 18 to 10 this is in plex 3d it's the same this is also in plex 3d you can see the groundwater flow now let's see the drain i'm sorry let's see the well okay so let's see the pdf we'll draw a well here this is the height two meters seepage so the material are linear elastic it's the same coefficient as the for uh, the last one we've put the boundaries here to closed closed and here is seepage so it's like a box the water cannot go uh, the water will only go upwards from here because here it's closed so uh, this documents will verify the groundwater flow principle are correctly implemented in plexus so this is uh, what is this document used for here let's see the well this is the behavior there's infiltration and extraction here we've said that we will uh, put each day one cubic meter of water in this well after creating the mesh flow condition the global level of water is here these are the boundaries it's closed and here it's left the seepage we can see here the stage construction okay so here we can see the Poor pressure. And here we can see the total stress. Here we can see the groundwater flow. You can see how the waters, how the water will flow upward let's zoom out so here we can see how the water will flow upward from the well to the surface of the soil as you can see because it's a closed box My computer just froze. 
because it's a closed box the water will flow upward if we've put this boundary here to seepage the water would flow in this in this direction here so I hope that now in uh, these two exercises it's a little bit more uh, clear what's the difference between a well and a drain so here in the results we can see how the flow field is obtained how the groundwater flow is set here so as you can see this water is infiltrated here and it's go and goes upwards where in this first exercise in the drains the water is reduced to a level so this is the difference between a drain and a well so if you have any question please leave them in the comment section and see you in the next video